next step step 3 design of pseudocode or algorithm to solve the problem so far we have identified the uh, data required to solve the problem and this is the third important step in this problem solving approach designing a pseudocode or algorithm to solve the problem before you write a program normally when we see a problem we start writing the program straight away that is not the right approach this design of pseudocode algorithm is an important step you know what is algorithm algorithm or uh, english like statements that are used to express your logical statements sequentially and pseudocode i am showing you one example see this is a pseudocode for a problem uh, which is used to identify whether a number is greater than 10 or not see it has a begin statement that indicates the beginning of your logic input a number then check whether the number is greater than 10 if it is true then print something else print something else and then end the program if you see this pseudo code it resembles a code but it is not the actual code this is called pseudo code okay pseudo code are much uh, easier to represent and it provides lot of information than algorithm but for our problem converting miles into kilometer we will express in algorithm so what is the first step in writing the algorithm or pseudocode acquire the input so this is the very important step in problem solving using programming first is acquire the input in our problem what is the input so the input is miles so you need to acquire the distance in miles second step is uh, processing or computing the data this is in general any program you represent the second step as process or compute the data in our program we are going to convert this distance in miles into kilometer that is what we are going to compute so that is the second step in our algorithm third step generally we say it is providing the output and here we have to provide the output as distance in kilometers so this explains the algorithm for this problem generally algorithm involves three steps algorithm or pseudocode for that matter involves three steps acquire the input process or compute the data and then provide the output yes now step four after understanding the algorithm we need to implement this algorithm in some platform to solve the problem this needs understanding of some programs so you you should understand some uh, programming language if you want to implement this algorithm so in that programming language you should identify or understand the structure of the program that you are going to use it will be a generic one you should understand that first then data types operators or expressions you want to use in that program how to use it those things then syntax used for input and output uh, declarations or initializations that you want to understand then how to read or print uh, different types of data using that program these are the four items you want to understand when you want to implement some algorithm using a programming language now we want to implement this algorithm in c program 